Welcome back to another episode of All the Mods 9. I think this one, I want to start off by actually just getting into the episode and not messing around like last time. <laughs> but uh, this time, I don't really like... So it's pretty loud in here, as you can probably tell. I don't really like how the cable comes straight into the house. I'm going to put in a buffer battery there. It will act as A, a buffer, and B, not as disgusting as like a outlet to the outside. So for that, we're going to need a ice if that is that what i think it is why where are you spawning how did you even get here how did you even did you just spawn up here this is insane uh -huh. quick-minded you don't even have anything good oh wait hang on uh -huh. hang on hang on he might be cooking right now Advanced turtle. All the mode you may get. You're selling up to he's cooking. He's cooking. Hold up. Alright. I'll allow you to live for the next five minutes. And you know what? Actually, I'm just gonna lead you. I can't lead him, can I? Can I pick you up actually? I can't pick you up either. Alright, you have about five minutes to get out of my house before I murder you. You're selling an oak sapling for five emeralds when you just gave me an advanced turtle for two? You deserve, you deserve to be murdered just for that. But I needed the turtle, actually. This is a actually, this is huge. Actually? This turtle is actually huge. I guess I should probably put doors or something. There's gotta be... Is there a no more wanderer trader? Arriving traders will end up on this block and... There it is. I'm gonna... I'm just going to have to trap him somewhere. All right, so it's really just a carpet and a flower. Okay. I don't... Do I have a carpet? Nope, but I'm going to get one. All right, this is actually insane. I was going to make a carpet, and then I went exploring because there are no sheep around my base. And we are now... How far are we from base home? 682 blocks. And uh, I can't find a sheep. I finally found a sheep. I had to go back home, but we're still like 400 blocks. There's like no sheep anywhere near the house. Thank you. Why are you hurting yourself? Oh. Because of the source berries. Ooh, another one. You know what I just noticed? Is these aren't normal flowers. They're all botania flowers. They're not even the base botania flowers. They're the ones you have to create. So... I think we are screwed unless I can make soap. I'm ooh. I think soap's within our reach, actually. We need raw pork chop. Which we don't have. I'm gonna lose it. It's alright. I have plans for these guys. I'm definitely not gonna build them a contraption direct where they have to spawn in their room and they can't leave the room. And then I'm definitely not going to involve create or anything to a point to where I can just drop them into a pit of lava in a really cool way or drop lava on their head. I'm not really sure yet. And you just wait, buddy. All right, back to business as usual, though. We need to make two of these energy tablets in order to make the energy cube. There we go. Now I can replace this hole in the wall with this. I need to make sure we're definitely inputting. Oh, they're all input. I feel like the front is... Okay. Okay. I think it's already set up, actually. Nice. And that completes our quest. Give us some reinforced alloy. Nice. So I've been deliberating for a little bit on what to do next to progress. And I've kind of settled on extreme reactors because our power source is what needs to be figured out, I think, next. Because we don't really have... We have a single windmill. That's not going to do much for us. But what I'm really thinking is using extreme reactors because I've never really relied on extreme re extreme reactors before. Why you gotta like interrupt me like that? I've never really uh, relied on extreme reactors before. I've only used them to get the the byproducts. So I kind of want to try that this go around. And to reliably rely on them, we'll need a steady supply of uranium. And so I'm thinking to get uranium, we should use bees. Because normally to get uranium, I'd use something like mystical agriculture. 
or I'd use the, uh, what do you call it? Like a RF tools builder or the, the miner from mechanism, the digital miner. So I'm thinking I want to try out bees and that's what I'm going to do. So to start the bee quest, we need to get, we've, we've gotten a honey bottle apparently, and we need to get a single honeycomb, which I actually have no idea how to get. I am, I am so bad with bees. Is someone in my home? But even before that, to get into bees, I feel like we need a place for the bees to live. So I'm thinking the bees can live on the water right here. Well, right next to the water. Prime real estate. All right. There we go. Um, I don't claim to be a builder, like I said last episode. I'm not the best at it. But I gave it a try. This looks kind of bad. And the only saving grace right now is shaders. And even then, it still kind of looks like booty cheeks. Uh, it's always a hexagon that fits into a single chunk. So it can just chunk load this and forget about it. And then as we need, we can build on top. And then maybe if we need to expand sideways. But for what we're doing, I don't see us needing more than two levels. Because I don't want to rely on bees too much. Just uranium, really. So we'll, we'll see how it goes. All right, I give up. I've been um, searching for the vanilla bees for forever, and I haven't found a single one. So I heard it's a vanilla mechanic that if you surround like a birch sapling with like poppies or something, poppies or dandelions, I think, you have a higher chance of getting like a, just a vanilla beehive. So that's what we're trying to do as night falls. Let me sleep and then hopefully I can get one. I'm beginning to think I've been lied to. None of those worked. Oh, I don't know. Is working this? No. All right. Well, I'm going to have to, I don't even know. I'm going to find a vanilla bee, honestly. Um, I just need the honey. I need the honey bottle. Holy. I just looked over the horizon and this thing started coming in. I think I might have to clear it. I think I might have, we have a room for it, kind of. I got room. I got a backpack full of stuff. Well, full of room, not full of it, stuff. It will be full of stuff in a second though. That place is uh, a waste of time, really. It's got a bunch of food and some pistons. There's nothing else really, really in there worth grabbing. So on to looking for the bee still. Um, Where are we up here? Hopefully I'll find one soon, I don't know. I'm getting annoyed. Oh my God. Where are you going, buddy? Oh, I see it. What do you have? What do you have? No, honey. That's fine. That's fine, honey. I finally found you. I finally found you. They have produced me, honey. I don't have a, uh, what do you call it? Silk touch. So, oh, I gotta wait till... Oh, I gotta wait till it's five. That's what am I gonna do until then? I guess I could listen to music. You like jazz? It would appear the bees are ready for me. There we go. Three honeycombs. Quest completed. Honey bottle. So we have bee cages now. And then to find things, I already made this previously. That gives us stuff. That gives us XP. The Book of Bees, did I, ugh, I might have thrown that away on accident. I definitely threw that away, so we're going to make one more, just, I think, I think I might need it. Uh, yeah, we might as well keep it. Next up, we need a beehive, so we can do a beehive like so. Boom, boom, we now have a beehive. Quest complete. And then next up, we need an advanced beehive, which is two honeycombs, which we, I think we, oh yes, we have it. Boom, an advanced spruce beehive. Give us another quest and replace our combs that we got. And an expansion box, I think would be good to have. I'm pretty, yeah, I'm pretty sure expansion box would be worth it to grab here. So let's go ahead and make this. And then, boom, boom, spruce expansion box. Bigger is always better. Here's our centrifuge, which is another quest. 
fantastic. Go ahead and claim that. Get some more honeycombs. And then we need a honey treat, which honey bottle and honeycomb. Um, we have one of each, so we might as well make a honey treat. And then boom. So improductive bees, if you don't spend most of your time flying around trying to find certain bees, uh, instead you spawn them using nests with honey treats. With these, you create some nests and right click them with the treats to lure bees in. Okay. I guess we already have some uh nests. Um I'll go show everyone. And by everyone I mean you. Before I do that though, I think I should create a gene indexer. This seems like it'll be uh useful. Um I get I got turned on by redstone, alright. So these are all the nests I've kind of found going in random places. Um while I was searching, I found a couple of spruce and oak, and we also have a stone. But I think in order to get the honey. We need uh, normal bees, so we need to go back to that site of where the bees are and then use our bee cage to um, acquire them. They are now back in their new habitat. I hope they love it. I hope they use this. They do. You better use it too, buddy. When did I get this rubber tree sapling? Oh, well. And then we have our other bees that are also inside these nests. They're also doing work. Um, There. See, now we're having a lot of bees. And you should, over time, just give me honey and whatever. And since this is chunk loaded, it should be good. Now I'm also kind of glad we didn't void or trash our poppies. Because now they have a use. And it's to breed the bees. I have an AFK to see if we can get some honey. And it's taking forever with just these two bees. So we need a couple more, and then we can do some other stuff while we wait. Look at this dude. Look at that dude. Look at this dude. But we need to go... Oh my god, he scared me. <laughs> um, we need to go into... We need to go find a village with uh, an apiarist. An ape something or other. Because we need more sturdy bee cages. Um, that's what I want. And you get them from... An advanced beehive with a villager. I think we can make that work. Oh my god, look at this dude's trade. One coal for an emerald. <laughs> I'll take you, buddy. You can, uh... I don't need you. You can, uh... Stay with your people. What do you got? Ten coal? I don't need that. Let's go uh, lock in this trade. We've successfully relocated this new employee here. So we should be able to see how many can I get. Let's let him... Can you stop? How much iron do we have? Uh, almost four stacks in each chest. Fantastic. Oh! oh! Is that one iron to one steel? Am I... Ch is that one... Oh my Am I cheating? I think I am cheating. If I give it about this one. There's a there's a steal. <laughs> Stealing some steel, am I right? We might as well do the steel trade just to level them up a little bit. And then wait, this steel counts as steel for um whatchamacallit? Mechanism, right? I think if we come through Yeah, I think if it counts for all this stuff, it definitely counts for everything else. So there's our <laughs> there's our source of steel. I'm definitely cheating. All right, I leveled him up to master, and we did kind of get shafted here. <laughs> An XP boost one. That's fine, though. He's a good source of emeralds for one coal. I can't really complain. Now we just need one of our villagers to become a apiarist person. And like that, he is now a beekeeper. Fantastic. All right, I cycled his trades, and this seems to be the best we can get. So I'm going to go ahead and level him up. All right, I haven't leveled up the guy all the way. I need to wait for the other trades to reset so we can get more emeralds. However, um, he did unlock an expansion box for one emerald, so it's basically free. So now we have mangrove expansion boxes. That's why it's not going to be spruce, at least for a while. Um, not really care right now. And then, yeah, these guys should keep producing... Honey, while I'm gone, searching for more bees. 
we'll take our single starter case, a waystone, and this, and I'll get a boat, and then we'll go. Hello. Yoink. Yoink. And here's the last one. Okay, uh, is this a baby? A child? What happened? How did I get a child in here? I have no idea how this got in here. I can't be out here supporting all these kids. Can't afford that. Alright, so while those bees do their thing, we do need to get, uh, we need to get, um, we need to get the uranium, the radioactive bee here. Do get radioactive comb. I'm pretty sure those can turn into, yeah, raw uranium. That is what we need. So, we come back out of this, and I come all the way back here. We can see here, we need a Cree bee and an iron bee. A Cree bee is just feed a vanilla bee, some TNT, easy enough. Um, and then an iron bee is an ashy mining and a crystalline. So if we come out here, a ashy mining is a solitary bee that can be found in the overworld and gravel, sand, and dirt nests. I have found none of those yet. So I need to get on that. And then we have some honey treats, that's fine. And the crystalline bee is found in the nether, which I have done no exploration of it all so i have not found one of these either but it needs a piece of nether quartz to attract it so it seems pretty easy i think first we will go for the ashy mining bee and i will also reproduce the um the vanilla minecraft bees we have in there and it looks like we found a chocolate mining bee i don't know what that means but i'm taking the hive um i'm, <laughs> I'm not sure if i can evict this guy but a mining bee seems like it'd be useful not not really too sure it doesn't look too useful it looks like the um chocolate mining bee can only be bred to produce a quarry bee which only produces like random quarry stuff stone dirt things like that um pretty useless and they can't breed about amongst themselves and doesn't really go any further i don't think so as you see here it just turns things into random stuff and then you got random you know blocks blackstone clay things like that um, so pretty useless for me. And then the redstone bee, which, um, could be used for other things like lapis or cinnabar, but as itself, redstone isn't really something I'm really worried about. So, uh, we'll see. Maybe I'll just keep the bee and then maybe attract another one or find another bee nest that's empty maybe. And right as I say that, I find another empty sand nest. So we are good. Well, hopefully I'll have to use the sand and then, um, Hopefully attract the, what do we need? The ashy mining bee, hopefully. Never mind. look what I found floating around in the wild. It's an ashy mining bee. Thank you. Was exploring the nether to try and find the bee and found this temple and we got another sturdy bee casing. Awesome. Maybe we don't even need that dude in the first place. And look what else I found. Let's see, let's make sure I don't get collapsed. I'm looting this place. We got a diamond knife. And look at this. Some ancient debris. That's huge. And look at this. A diamond pick with mending on it. We're combining those two for sure. Look what I found. A nice little fortress and someone who thinks they're better than me. Apparently. I want a refund, dude. I spent like the past 30 minutes in there just clearing the whole thing. And it looks like I got one with a skeleton skull. This dude's coming up. Oh my god. He just broke something. What the? Oh, I'm, 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 dude. What the? I gotta get on this. Oh my god. He's gonna, it's crazy. That dude's crazy. As you can see, lost most of the armor. Um, got a couple diamonds. Nothing really. Some, Nether wart, just really not good loot for how much time I spent in there. And then, yeah, just some skull fragments, really. Um, a couple quests for killing things, but that's about it. Not really worth the time I spent in here, to be honest. I found all the biomes to hop to our destinations, and I have found zero crystal bees. I'm just back here because I'm kind of tired of going through the nether, but I'm just trading for expansion boxes because that levels them up the fastest. 
However, uh, we did get these sturdy B casing, so now it's just one emerald and one B cage. Very cheap, because we have a lot of honey now that I've spent so much time in the nether. Now we have 40 B cages for absolutely zero reason. <laughs> That's wild. He just reset his tray from 12 to 20. I guess this one takes effect for some reason. But if I go ahead and do this tray, it should give us expert all the way. Now we have B jars for no reason. Let's see. Now he's master level. And a collector B spawn egg. I don't know what that does. So apparently the collector B kind of acts like a uh, item. What do you call it? A item vacuum. So if you leave items out, I'll collect it, put it in its hive. I can put it in from there. Uh, I'm not going to use it. That seems probably the least efficient way in terms of memory to do things. But it does. You can use it to make a hoarder B. And a hoarder B. Um. Yeah, it just carries more. I have now spent over two hours in the nether, and I don't think they spawn in the nether. I think you have to make them. Um, so if you go to the bee, there's also a way to make this nest. It says it must be placed in the nether, which I guess makes sense. So I've just wasted two hours of my life. And to do that, we need mending, and we don't have any mending. So we have to get the enchanter, which means we have to get an ender IO. Which means we need the primitive blast furnace, which means we need grains of infinity. I'm gonna lose my mind. Here is our primitive alloy smelter. And here is the enchanter. Fantastic. So now we can make a silk touch book. Let's see what the silk touch book looks like. Um, here, just a slime ball and 15 lapis with a book and quill. Hopefully we have those materials. We have a feather, which I was most worried about. An ink sack. Book. Book. Doot, doot, doot. And then we need a singular slime ball. And, oh, I haven't mined. I haven't gone mining, like, ever. <laughs> yeah. The most mining I've done was in the one place. And then we got a silk touch book. And then if we go downstairs, combine it with this, we're getting a crazy good... Yeah, I can... Why? Why? There's no reason this shouldn't be able to take up Silk Touch Book. I'll just make another one. But I think before I do that, we should just probably try and do, uh, whatchamacallit, do some enchanting first. I'm not really sure where I want to put this. This room's kind of full. Um... This room's kind of empty, but I'm not really sure. I kind of feel like it should be outside for some reason. I feel like right here is good enough. Now we have 15. Level 30. A soul bound. That's kind of risky. I'm not sure, but we'll, we'll probably just go for it. So I feel like XP boost is what's not letting me put mending on. I'm not totally sure, but I feel like that's the only reason I feel like I can't put... um whatchamacallit, so touch on there. So let's go for Soulbound, and it's just Soulbound. Okay. Looks like we got so touch on this one, and now we have the power to actually pick up spawners as well. So, I might start doing that. We have our another, another Quartz Ore. We have our Quartz Nest. What are you looking at? Don't shake your head at me, buddy. Alright. Bee's Nest. Uh, okay, so I speed it up like that. Uh, that's a long ass time if I didn't like speed it up. Damn. Three, two, one. Give me my B. Boom. There it is. A crystalline B. All right, let's get the show on the road. There's you. There's you. There's you. There's you. Now, now kiss. Yes. What'd you make? You made what I wanted, right? An iron bee, right? Stop moving, child. A cop. That's not what I wanted. I did not want a copper bee. So I was doing research, and it appears that copper is one of the choices, and there's four of them in total. So that's going to take a couple tries. So what I'm thinking is the bee breeder. 
this thing. We need a breeding chamber is what I'm thinking. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that crafting. For this, we need an upgrade base. And it seems pretty easy actually, now that we have a lot of honey and everything. Here's the upgrade base. That should also give us a quest. And then here is our upgrade Bobby. Give us another quest. And then here's our bee breeding chamber. I don't know if that's going to give us a quest or not. It looks like it's not going to. How dare they? Is that really not a quest? Weird. Oh, we need an incubator too, don't we? I bet we do. One incubator coming right up. Oh, boom. That is a quest for sure. Yep. So I think I have a reason. So this first floor, I think I'm going to use as like a breeding kind of chamber and getting the bees I want. And then the second floor is where they get put to work, baby. Let's go ahead and shove this here. And then this move. You're no longer needed. Oh, they need energy. I will say these poppies are coming in handy. Now there's a sick like breeding thing. There we go. Now we just need to get energy over here or make our new energy here. Now honestly, I'm not too worried about the amount of power that it gets as long as it sometimes runs. I'm, I don't need it to run 24 seven. I probably don't want it to do that anyway. So I'm going to give it a solar generator here. I'll give us another quest. And then I don't know why I'm running away from there. We're going to need some universal cables. And there we go. Now it's getting a solid 18.2 FE a tick. That is horrendous. But I guess hopefully it works. I don't even know. I I did not expect it to be that low. And yeah, it looks like this thing can barely keep up. I, I don't think it is keeping up, to be honest. I don't think the one solar panel is enough. Um, But like I said, I don't really care. I'm just going to kind of leave it and let it go. All right, this has been done for a while. It's actually the next day, and I kind of just gave up on it. But uh, I think we just don't have enough power, and that's the problem. Why well, I can't output into the bee cage? I think, at least, um, or at least I hope. So we'll we'll see about upgrading our power here. I actually just crafted. I actually just shift clicked crafted that. That's uh, I'm sure we'll use them all at some point. So we will upgrade to this bad boy right here. Advanced solar panel. I should give us a quest. Who? These dudes really think they can be walking out here, huh? There we go. This went from 18 a tick to 110. So hopefully this does the trick. And yep, that seemed to do the trick. I don't know why it even allowed me to like fill up the bar all the way, but. If you ever run into that problem, it's because you're just not giving it enough power, which is, that's got to be a bug or something. But we do now have our iron bee, which is, it's been a long time coming at this point. Long time coming. So for our radioactive bee, we need an iron bee. Let's take these out. We need a uh, iron bee and a Cree bee. A Cree bee, you need to give it a normal bee some TNT. Easy enough. We already have a couple of those just laying around. Here's our willing participant. So I just right click you. Oh my god, you instantly turned. Okay. Um uh, Don't get mad. Alright, so we have our Cree B. We have our Iron B. Go ahead and put these two back. And then we should be able to just stick. Do you just need, is it Botania flower, I think is what it needs? Or is it any kind of flower? Radioactive bee, and then you should start. You should start going, right? Yeah, I got biome, dandelion, pop, yeah. Right there. So you should be breeding. Oh, you're a child. That would be, so I have to grow you. I think you can just grow them in here and then you need honey treats in here, I think. So if we go ahead and put 20 honey treats in here, I think that's how it works. I think. This dude does have high productivity though. That's good. What does the other guy have? High productivity. So we could get a really good uh uranium bee here. Alright, we have our adult iron bee. I'm really not sure why it's got like half health, but go ahead and put that in there. We should get a uranite bee. Uraninite bee? What's that? What's that? Wait. Radioactive B, I think is what we want, right? 
Because radioactive gives us... Uh, if we give it a centrifuge, raw uranium, and that's what we need. I think the uraninite's for the power mod, and I don't want to go down the... I don't want to go down the path, because I usually do. I'm going to try something else. And look at that. It looks like we have our first radioactive bee is a child, though, but it does have high productivity, which is good. Um, yeah, so it seems... We did good here. Let's see, how do we? So it has to pollinate on uranium ore or a block of uranium. Easy enough. I think he's gonna go up here and then, um, gonna be our first actual worker bee where I care what they produce. So we'll put that up there. And with that, that brings us to the end of the episode. I was editing it and I saw it getting pretty long here. I didn't expect the bee process to be this long, to be honest. So it took a little bit longer and yeah, but now we have a uranium bee. So I think next episode, I want to get started on actually building a reactor, which I don't think will take too long. And then I also, we need to find some way to build it, you know, with actual good materials and stuff. And then we'll also kind of want to build the train depot maybe for transportation and then probably get into refined storage as well. But yeah, lots to do next episode. See you then.